so this is the uterus and the ovaries we just took out of this cat and the ovaries are quite cystic and you can tell the difference here this is the one uterine horn and this is going to be all filled with pus this one still is irregular but you can tell the difference between the two so there we go that is what was in this kitty so that's why she didn't feel good and all of that now is gone but this is why it is important to spay and neuter your pets yeah. see what we got in here that mucus see it all Mm -hmm. It's like stringy. Mm -hmm. A little bit. More fluid though. Yeah. This would be where the bloody vaginal discharge is coming from on this kitty. Yeah. The other side. Like that bit's stringy, but the rest of it ends up being fluid. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, got that out of there favorite part of pyometra. So we can look here and see this uterus came out of a 10 pound dog um, and all of this is pus. And because I'm a gross person, but I love this, we're gonna cut into it and actually see. So obviously somebody else finds that disgusting as well, but this is what is in there. So, all that pussy goodness is what's making this dog sick. So we took the whole thing out. She's going to be on medications. Oh, be glad that you can't smell this too because it's stinky. But other side's going to look just the same. Yeah. Geyser of pus. Yuck. Okay, guys. This is the uterus and reproductive tract that I just took out of a cat. This is a cat uterus. <laughs> it weighs two pounds, and you can see it's got pus that just started to leak out of it. It's been sitting here because I've been sitting for a while, but it's leaking pus, which is disgusting. So, again, a reason why you need to spay your cats. Um, yuck. Cystic old ovaries in a cat and a tired old uterus. Really?